Well, hello and boom shakalaka. This is Rob Hamilton from Soul Canyon Training and Development. And first, I want to thank you for uh, taking the time to click and get here. We're going to give you those 33 keyboard shortcuts. And as an additional bonus for coming in here and taking a look, we're going to give you a little video here with three additional things that are very, very useful um, in Excel that most people don't know. Uh, they're pretty easy things to set up, and I think you're going to find a lot of use for them. And then at the very end, we're going to give you an opportunity to get our full program uh, and give you a, a very nice discount if you should decide to do that. But first, let me walk you through um, three things that are really easy to set up in Excel that help you to uh, uh, Excel be more powerful, more quick, more efficient, more time efficient uh, for you that uh, I think you're, gonna, you're going to enjoy. Uh, the first one I want to show you is something called autocorrect. Now, most people, uh, you probably yourself, uh, have cursed autocorrect. Um, autocorrect is that thing that when you're typing something in your phone, it assumes that you're trying to do something uh, that is different than what you're doing or that you're starting to write something and it wants to like complete it for you. And while autocorrect can be used that way and it can be used as a great tool to correct common misspellings or to uh, get something in there that, you, uh, uh, that it thinks that you want, uh, it can also be used strategically to speed up data entry. So the name of our company is Soul Canyon Training and Development, LLC. So if I'm typing a letter or a proposal or something like that, I might find myself typing that a lot in Microsoft Excel or Word or PowerPoint or even in Outlook, email. Well, if it's already there and someplace I can, I can get my hands on it, I can certainly say, oh, it's right there, Control-C to copy, Control-V to paste and put it somewhere else. But if it's not there, I end up having to type the whole thing out all over again or find some place I can copy and paste from. So a better way to do it is to actually use a feature called autocorrect. Let me show you how to set it up. So if you go to the file tab up here in the upper left hand corner, you drop down here and click options and then you come up here into the category of options called proofing. You'll find right up here at the top there's something called autocorrect options. Go ahead and click that. And then when you come in here, there's an easy to use little box. You're going to use it right up here on the autocorrect tab. We're going to go over here on the width side and we're going to type Soul Canyon Training and Development, comma, LLC. Now I'm going to create a little abbreviation for it SCTD. And then I'm going to click OK. And then I'm going to click OK down here on the bottom of the Excel Options dialog box. Now, if that wasn't here and I needed to get it in there, all I would have to do from this point forward is type SCTD. And when I press Enter, it replaces that with Soul Canyon Training and Development. So if you have a long product name and you want to make sure it's spelled the same way every time, a company name or whatever, just create those. And once again, these work uh, autocorrect. Here it works exactly the same way throughout every single Microsoft Office program. So that's a powerful one. Another one that's kind of cool is, and once again, it's a really good little data input trick, uh, is changing the direction that the cursor moves when you press the Enter key. Now, in a standard 10 key configuration on a keyboard, there's usually a uh, 10 key keypad over on the right side with the Enter key built in. So people are really good with that. They like to put something, enter, 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 enter. And it's set up to when you press the enter key to move the cursor down for the next entry. Well, if we're in something like this, we'd probably want to put in uh, new expense records. Uh, so here we might put the name and then we might want to go to the right and I'd have to use the arrow key or the tab key to put in that uh, those bits of information for that travel expense record. Well, let's say instead of having to hit the arrow key or the tab key, I want to hit the enter key. And instead of having it go down, I want the cursor uh, to go to the right for the next entry for this particular expense record. So you can change that setting. Once again, you go up to the file tab, you drop down here to the options button. And here we're going to drop down here to the advanced category of options. After pressing enter, move selection, we're going to change the direction to right and then click OK and now when we hit enter check it out cursor is going right we want to change it back to down because now we have a different application where we might uh, want to put in a series of numbers and have the cursor go down well just go back up to the file tab 
drop down here to Options, click Advanced Options, and change this back to Down. And then go ahead and click OK, and it's going down again. There you go, there's your second tip. Now, here's another one, really, really kind of cool. Let's say over here in this particular sheet, let's go ahead and just push this over here, that we uh, need to calculate a fair surcharge that our travel agency, we have an external travel agency, whenever they book travel for us, airplane tickets, hotel stays, stuff like that, a little 2.5% surcharge gets put on the top of uh, each transaction. So we're going to create a little formula for that in Excel. Every formula uh, starts with equals, and then we're going to click on this amount right over here, and then we're going to multiply it with the asterisk key times 0 0.025. Now when I press enter on that, it puts $15 in there, which is 2.5% of $600. Now, the next thing I need to do, though, is get this formula down the full length of the spreadsheet. And this spreadsheet goes on and on and on. And so whenever you have to copy something like this, uh, this little autofill handle in the lower right-hand corner of the marquee there, it's useful because when you drag it, it copies down. But when you have to drag it down the length of a super long database, it is, quite literally, folks, a drag. So rather than drag, 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 don't do that. Just come up here to the autofill handle and to copy that formula down to the end of the database, if you just double click right there, it will copy that all the way to the end of the database and stop when the data stops. So I think that is pretty cool and I hope you do too. So there you go, three quick tips. There are literally tens of thousands of things to learn about Microsoft Excel. I'm here to tell you that you need a programmatic approach to build a foundation of basic skills and learn more of the intermediate to advance things on that foundation. I have just the program for you. It's called Excel Essentials. It's built in four levels, over 50 tutorials that sequentially teach you more and more and more to make you more uh, fluent, more efficient, more effective with the program, Worth more, Microsoft Excel is the single most popular piece of software used on the planet. 78% of jobs require Excel skills, and Excel Essentials will get you there. If you click on the link below, we'll take you over to Excel Essentials. If you pick it up and decide then you want to check out and buy it, the normal price is $167, but if you use that code BOOM, B-O-O-M, on checkout, that will bring the price down to $97 just for you. This is Rob Hamilton, Soul Canyon Training and Development. Thanks for tuning in, and we, uh, we hope to see you soon down the road. Boom shakalaka. <laughs>